There are many things I enjoy about my position here at GNK Services. I enjoy managing and coaching the environmental engineers here. The people that I manage, if you boil it right down, they're more important to the company than I am. But I'm here to help them succeed, and by doing that, I'm successful. My name is Scott Schuler. I am the Environmental Compliance Manager at GNK Services. GNK Services provides professional laundry services, uniform rental, and sales to all different kinds of industries across the U.S. and Canada. And we bring those textiles back to our laundry plants, professionally clean those, dry those textiles, and uh, ship those materials back to our customers. My possession here is uh, primarily a management position, managing other people to ensure environmental regulatory compliance at our 53 industrial laundries. I'm being judged on not so much as to what I do or what I produce as, what, as to what the people I manage do and what they produce and how effective they are. A typical day in the life of the G&K Environmental Compliance Manager involves arriving around 6.30 to 7 a.m. in the morning and leaving around 6.30, 7 p.m. in the evening. It's hard work, but it's, to me it's stimulating and it's challenging and that excites me and it makes it fun. People entering the environmental field are typically required to, to have a Bachelor of Sciences, a Bachelor's Degree in Environmental or Civil Engineering. In college, uh, I majored in Zoology, minored in Chemistry, and I, upon graduation, I, I um, really used my minor in Chemistry as a way to get started. Someone with an advanced degree, a uh, master's degree, or uh, professional engineer's license or an environmental certification like Certified Hazardous Materials Manager uh, can help jumpstart their career. You need to sometimes be uh, creative at your problem-solving approach, innovative and original thinking, working with teams, managing people, helping them become successful, getting things done through other people is really what managing is about. It's your basic office work environment with a laptop computer. Spend a lot of time on the telephone, you know, working at developing spreadsheets to, to send to the plants. I spend most of my days in meetings talking to the folks that I manage and work with on our teams and cross departmental teams. Your most important tool is your, your brain and your effectiveness at communicating to all levels of staff in the organization. What we do here is we're trying to do everything in our power to conserve the natural resources, whether it be energy, whether it be water. The business itself is inherently green. We uh, professionally clean and send reused garments to our customers instead of them doing it themselves and or using disposable textiles that may end up in a landfill which would potentially contaminate groundwater. We're preventing that from occurring. When you think about the hard sciences, you think about uh, predominantly you know, male-dominated type of educational environment which leads to predominantly um, a male work environment. You're seeing more and more uh, women entering the field every day, which is great because we need that diversity in the, in the workforce. Uh, they bring a whole uh, different set of skills and abilities to the table that, that's needed to, to keep going down that road of continuous environmental management improvement. So I guess that's probably the most common perception is that it's a, a male-dominated uh, workforce in environmental management and that's been true more so in the past than it is today. Don't be afraid to start out at the bottom and work your way up 
take on progressively more responsibilities, then start working on your management and coaching skills. I mean, it all comes in, into play with developing those skills and you're having fun at the same time and, and do, doing good in your community. Keep working hard, find a position that you love, find an organization that you love to work with that gives you the opportunities to, to grow in your profession and take it as far as you care to take it and don't give up trying.